Welcome to prayer and coffee. Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. If you're a follower of Jesus, I trust you're like me. We want to love Jesus with all our heart. Trust him fully, follow him faithfully, and bear f spiritual fruit in his name. We want to be filled with all the fullness of the Holy Spirit as much as we can hold. We don't want to be lukewarm or waste our brief life here on this earth. So maybe we need to start praying, Lord, whatever it takes, to see a last day outpouring of Holy Spirit that makes the church alive with power. Whatever it takes to see people saved. Some would say it's a drastic, maybe a dangerous prayer. But we are in a spiritual war zone. And the Bible says, Let us come therefore boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So let's boldly ask for his mercy and grace. But also let's pray, Lord, whatever it takes. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done for me, for us, for your calling on my life. Thank you for all your blessings, your strength, and the wisdom that you give me when I don't know what to do. We need you, Lord, and we ask that you do whatever it takes in us and through us to win the battle for our nation, for our children, for our families. Whatever it takes to see people saved, Lord, do it. Whatever it takes to see the grip of sin broken in our families and over our nation, Jesus, do it. Whatever it takes to see your church filled with power, flowing in healings and signs and wonders, Jesus, pour out Holy Spirit on us. Just do it. Our eyes are on you, Jesus. Amen.